They're shy, timid, but very cute. They're red-necked wallabies, and they're the newest animals at the Salisbury Zoo. They don't have uh, you know, claws or teeth or anything to defend themselves, but it's just in their nature to keep, keep a distance, keep a safe distance from, from people. Wallabies are animals of prey, so they aren't very playful. Wallaby caretaker Dave Williamson says they also view everything as an enemy, even a harmless ball. They'll slowly get closer and then they'll go up and sniff it and, you know, kind of just investigate to see what this is in their space. Williamson and his crew rake out and clean the enclosure every day. The wallabies are fed a special diet once a day too. Commercially made wallaby pellets along with the occasional treat. They love apples, they love carrots, they love sweet potatoes. Um, pears and um, lettuce. Salisbury Zoo Director Ralph Pylan says the wallaby exhibit is part of the zoo's larger plan to introduce animals from around the world to Delmarva. We're looking to enlarge the existing exhibit and bring in an aviary with um, Australian birds. But it's an effort on the part of the zoo to expand um, the variety of animals that we can present to the public. Pyland also hopes adding birds from their natural habitat will help the wallabies feel more at home here in Delmarva. In Salisbury, I'm Courtney Baird reporting.